Who? Grow up. Who, who and grow up? Grow up. We've got the lowest unemployment rate walk, since the walk 1960s. Me it. It, is up it is clear. It is clear that the Fed, Fed share needs to tighten. It is clear That's the it. Fed share is under a little bit of pressure from some it's market under participants. No pressure. So walk me through why you think stay the course. Because the, uh, the economy is cooking, baby, man. Come on, you've got a pro-cyclical fiscal policy going on. You've got the lowest unemployment rate since the 1960s. And the economy is doing very nicely. He's tightening policy. I mean, nobody in the world is because their economies are getting crushed like bugs. So what, what, what's the problem? Oh, the equity market went down a little bit last month. Oh, boo-hoo, and we don't like the Fed anymore. Grow up. I hope it's not directed look, at me. The Fed has to look, over, look after over 300 million people in it's this true. country. He's not looking at your wallet. David. So that's funny. And like I said, um, if Europe, a trend that I think everyone who is investing, not just in cryptos and the stock market and other global uh, markets, is, is the U.S. going to stop? Because Europe has not been raising their interest rates. So right now, if you are looking for a... Uh, higher yield, the U.S. is much more attractive. And if the central banks of Europe decide not to raise the rates and uh, keep the rates low, will this mean that uh, we won't see the kind of slowdown or what I've been predicting as rates will go up, that crypto prices will continue to raise? But um, it's really hard to tell because it's really in the hands of the central bankers. And um, if they decide to keep the rates low, that's fine, but then it's just going to encourage more and more debt to be created, and eventually <laughs> there, that debt bubble has to be dealt with, and it's just going to be accelerated if the Fed does raise interest rates. But let me know what you guys think about this, and I will talk to you soon.